All right, hello. I am on my first day of my peel, the day after. So I'm just trying to document this so you can see. I did a 10% uh, TCA peel with three layers and then retinol on top. I prepped it first with lactic acid, alpha hydroxy acid, and a little bit of a salicylic treatment. So you can see I got really uh, brown through here and through there because I'm trying to work on the crow's feet and I put a lot on my forehead. So it's starting to work its magic and I will keep you posted with um, my daily kind of process of this peel peeling. So um, I will see you in a new, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow with day two to see what it looks like. I'm probably gonna look terrible. Oh well. All right, I'll see you guys soon, bye. All right, hello, good morning. I'm kind of whispering because my partner's asleep, but I wanted to document day two for you. So this is what it's looking like. You can see it's pretty dark. It's getting darker where I put a little bit more acid because I'm trying to work on like all this here through here on my forehead. Hopefully you can see all that. So it'll probably start peeling by tomorrow. All I've been doing is just rinsing it with water right now and um, using a little bit of my weightless moisture, which helps to just kind of coat the top layer. And then I'm wearing tint and sunscreen, but that's about it. So this is a 10% um, customized TCA pill with a retinol. So I'll keep you posted and film um, tomorrow's video, day three. All right, have a great day, bye. Hello, good morning. I look like hell. So this is day three of the chemical peel. As you can see, it is already peeling so quickly. Uh, part of that is because I prepped the peel, um, you know, really nicely before I did it. I also used a little bit of glycolic and retinol or retin-A for a couple weeks before which you know um, isn't always necessary but it definitely makes a difference of the quality of the peel the result how quick it'll peel and how even and also just helping because the skin has been reconditioned to help it um, when I lay down the peel to just be more even and to not have to like if you prep the peel before you do it a couple weeks with some um, exfoliating agents what will happen is that you will kind of repair and help a lot of the discoloration or just the top layer of the skin to kind of recondition itself so that it's a little bit healthier looking and um, so when you lay down the acid the main acid it will actually just work more evenly so hopefully that makes sense I'll see you guys tomorrow with day four Bye. all right good morning day four with my peel it is um, a lot's actually peeled already, and you can see that it's looking a little brown and scary on some of those areas that I put a little extra. You can see my forehead, it's taking a little longer because the skin is a little thinner there. So um, it should be mostly peeled uh, hopefully by today, and I'll keep you guys posted and do a video tomorrow. I've been really um, easy with it, nothing too much. I've actually put in, been putting some more vino on it and just rinsing really with water, just keeping it super simple. So obviously wearing sunscreen, staying out of sunlight. I don't pick, I really try to, um, you know, maybe if I'll cut off a little skin, but I have not been picking because, um, you know, years ago I tried to pick something and I'm fixing this scar still from that. So um, I definitely recommend not picking. All right guys, I'll talk to you and see you tomorrow, bye. All right, hello, good morning. It is day five. Most of my peel is peeled, as you can see. It's still a little red where it was a little thicker, the peel. Um, I'm hoping that's gonna go away. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, um, so anyway, you know, I've just been super gentle with it. A lot of it came off in the shower when I was kind of rinsing my face. You know, and people are always like, well, can I pick the skin? I'm like, well, I really wouldn't recommend it. You can cut and you can um, try to moisturize or try to wet the top layer of skin so it gets a little bit more like moist and that sometimes helps when you wash to have the skin come off. But you do really want to make sure that um, you're not trying to pick it off sooner just because it can cause a lot of issues like I've already said before like post inflammation or scarring. Um, and even that, you know, it might become a little bit of a scar and I did not pick it or anything. So even when you're really careful, sometimes you have to be careful with a peel. It's, they kind of have a mind of their own. So I will do a video tomorrow to kind of just finish um, my process and sharing my process with you guys. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, love you, bye. All right, darlings, today is day six. I almost forgot, I was just running out of the house, but I wanted to film a video. So, um, I'm sorry, but I actually have a little bit of tinted moisturizer on, so I don't want you to think my skin is this flawless naturally. It's not, it's just a little bit of tint, but you can see I'm still a little red outer perimeter because I did go a little stronger there. So, everything's looking uh, great. I've been putting um, my rehydrating cream on there, so I advise something with hyaluronic acid once it's peeled just to really replenish your skin with a lot of moisture and also so that the hyaluronic acid can kind of grab the moisture from the air to attract more moisture to your skin. So you want to just repair any dehydration that's done with a chemical pill and most chemical pills do cause a mild form of dehydration in the skin. So anyway, if you want to learn uh, my post-care instructions, click on the link below this video. And if you want to learn how I did this chemical peel, um, click on the video below, which will walk you through me doing a 10% kind of a um, modified 10% TCA chemical peel with retinol. All right, guys, love you so much. See you soon. Bye. All right, hello, beautifuls. I wanted to do this last video, which is day seven of my chemical peel experience, just showing you what has happened to my skin. It is completely done peeling, and um, I just put a little bit of moisturizer on my skin, but you can see the depth of the wrinkles are definitely improved. The lines on my forehead are definitely a little minimize it's still going to work and go through its process for a few more days below the surface of the skin so i've just been protecting it with sunscreen using a little bit of tint using a lot of like hyaluronic acid and a little bit more moisture um, the last couple nights just to get that dehydration that happens from chemical peels a little bit um, resolved just so that my skin doesn't look kind of old or crepey um, I got myself a little bit more through here. That's why it's still red because that's a scar that I am working on to fix Which is taking quite a while. So anyway, this is pretty much how it looks after doing a um, Modified 10% TCA chemical pill with a little bit of retinol If you want to learn how I did this video feel free to look below in the description area And you can click on the link which is showing you how to do a chemical pill at home And if you want to learn how to care for your chemical peel at home I will also leave a link to that so that you can properly care for your chemical peel and keep it safe and get beautiful results. All right, as always, Cody here, here to help you have the most healthy, glowing, and gorgeous skin, and I will see you really soon in a new video. Bye-bye. All right, hello, beautifuls. This is my last and final video. This is about 11 days after my peel, and I just wanted to give you a final update so you can see, because a lot of times after, right after the peel, some people look just flawless and amazing. Um, but I always still look a little like older or dehydrated and the wrinkles are a little less visible So I wanted to show you this is about 11 days out and you can see that the wrinkles are definitely less visible There's definitely been um, the dehydration that was happening through the peel process is definitely minimized So my skin doesn't look so old this little red mark remember I was doing a little spot treatment so because it went in there a little deeper, it's still a little red. It's going to take a few more days to reacclimate to my natural skin color. So I'm not worried about that. That's a scar I've been fixing, like I mentioned in that video. So you never want to pick because even, you know, I thought, oh, it just was the tiniest bit. And I just moved it like this with my finger and I scarred. And it's been something I've been trying to fix. So you can see the discoloration is less visible. The tightness through the top of the forehead is better. This line, I don't think it's really improved very much. Um, I think those have definitely improved a little bit. Just the texture, my pores look smaller. Discoloration over here is definitely uh, less visible. And everything just looks a little tighter and brighter. And I have been pretty simple with it. Sorry, I've been, you know, you can see I've been really simple. Uh, no picking, no scrubbing, no hot water. Um, I've been using a Vino moisturizer, which I'll leave a link to. I've been also using some of my hyaluronic acid, so I recommend probably just using a hyaluronic acid. And probably a couple times a week, you want to use a moisture mask the following week after your peel just to give your skin back some love. Probably best to avoid all acids like retinol or vitamin C for at least probably 10 to 12 days after your peel because it could be just too acidic. So you can see... See all that that's improved there? That's so amazing. So I love pills. They're so great. Anyway, guys, I'll leave the link to my aftercare instructions below this video. I'll leave a link to how I did this peel if you haven't watched it already. And as always, stay gorgeous and be safe. And I'll see you guys really soon in a new video. Bye-bye.